these are the cheapest server rack batteries you can buy. They are equal worthy and they just hit the market. If you're interested in doing your own budget solar, this is the battery you're looking for. I tested several batteries and I wouldn't just say that unless I had a reason. But you can get these for $800 right now using a discount code that this company gave me. I've tested other batteries that are around $940, but never have I seen a server rack battery get this cheap. We're going to be pairing these two batteries up with the EG4 3000 off-grid inverter. The system that we're hooking this to today has 3400 watts of solar panels. The EG4 3000 watt inverter, this EcoWorks the combiner box and it's all running this off-grid cabin 24 7. I've already independently fully charged each battery so let's get these things hooked up. These things like most server rack batteries are right at 100 pounds. Okay, we got the batteries put in place, which is probably the hardest part of the job. So let's go ahead and get it hooked up now to the EG4 inverter. This inverter was already wired before for my previous battery bank. So this is gonna be pretty simple. But I'll still show you where everything goes and how to connect all this to your battery. So all of these wires that are coming out of the bottom of the inverter here, they all serve a purpose. One of them goes to a generator so you can back charge the batteries if your solar panels are not producing enough power. The other one is a wiring that goes straight to the house and powers up the tiny cabin. The other two wires that go in right here are from the solar panels. This is what goes into the inverter and then sends the charge to the batteries. This here is what we call a T-class fuse in case anything catastrophic happens to your system. This right here is our DC breaker which will disconnect the batteries from the inverter at any time we need. So the final product of wiring all that up is we have our positive and our negative here. This is what's going to go to our new battery bank. Since we have two batteries here, we're going to wire them in parallel. Parallel means positive to positive and negative to negative. That'll give us the power of both batteries running together as one battery bank. Okay, so this is some really nice two gauge wire that they're going to send with you to parallel these batteries. Two gauge wire is absolutely the wire size that you're going to want to use when you parallel these two together. Okay, go ahead and get the negative on. This is a pretty simple do-it-yourself. Not rocket science. Most people are going to be able to do this. All right, so EcoWorthy is truly wanting to move this battery for the price that it is. So this battery is pretty simple. It does not have a display screen or anything like that, but it does have all the bells and whistles that you'll need to hook it to most inverters. It has communication ports to run from battery to battery, and also has communication ports to run from the battery to the inverter. You'll also have your dip switches so you can run several different batteries, and each battery can be an individual battery or recognize it being different from another battery. That's what these are for. It also came with the on and off breaker switch, which that's always a plus on a server rack battery. And then you have your BMS power button here. In order that we get a good current sharing, we're gonna hook the positive up on this battery and the negative up on this battery. Now you can see that the two wires that are coming from the inverter, the positive is on this battery and the negative is on this battery. So I would consider this a great budget battery. It's going to perform like most of the other server rack batteries out there. EcoWorthy is a well-known brand. I've used EcoWorthy batteries on some of my other solar systems, but these server rack batteries are new to the lineup. And once again, these things are only going to cost you $800 if you use that code that they gave me. I just think that's pretty cool. I haven't seen a cheaper server rack battery than this. They said the 20% off code is only good until February 25th this year, so we'll see how that goes. Let's finish tightening up the terminals here and then turn these babies on.
So by the way, this EG4 inverter is only $674 right now. And I can show you how to get 10 solar panels like this for only $67 a piece. As a matter of fact, I just bought 20 of them for $67 each. These panels are 355 watts. When I'm finally finished with my system, I'll have around 7,000 watts. So let's think about it. What would it cost to build a budget system like this? Around 700 for the inverter, 800 a piece for the batteries, that's 1,600. So that's 2,300. Then if you bought a minimum of 10 solar panels like this for $67 each, that's going to be $670. So seriously, that is a total of $3,000 for a massive system like this. So I'll have links in the description of this video in case you want to build a system just like this. So let's get this system turned on now and see what all it can run inside my house. I would be glad for somebody to show me a system of this caliber that you could beat the price. Okay, before we turn this on, we're going ahead and put these caps on here. Okay, we're ready to go ahead and turn it on. So the sequence is, first thing you wanna do is turn the breakers on. Then you're going to power up the BMS on each battery. You'll wait for the lights to power up here. All right, everything seems normal. Now we go to the inverter and we're going to turn the breaker on for the inverter here. So now the inverter will power up the pre-charged resistors that are inside of it. Then the next thing to do is turn the switch on underneath. Now the inverter is going to come on. Right now we're not showing any watts coming in from the solar panels because we have the switch turned off. Okay, inside the combiner box here, we'll go ahead and turn the solar panel breakers back on. We'll walk back over here to our EG4 inverter. Here we go, our watts are already climbing up to 1,000, 1,500, 1,600, 17. So yeah, it looks like we leveled off right around 1700 watts. So now we're pushing in a little bit of power into the batteries. Okay, now it looks like the solar panels are bringing in just over 2000 watts. We're sitting at 56.4 volts. Okay, so let me take you inside my cabin here and show you what a system like this can power. This one here goes to the far lighting outside on the property. This one here is the one that is mounted on the house outside. This switch here actually turns the light on here inside the uh, kitchen area. And then this one here is not yet hooked up. Okay, we have a switch right here that turns the bathroom light on. And this switch turns our little, I guess you could call it a half hallway and half bathroom light. Then we have our TV, so far so good. And of course we have the refrigerator powered on and the microwave. We'll just turn it on five minutes. Leave it running. Okay, so we have the microwave, the refrigerator, the television, two lights outside, three lights inside. Let's go see what this house is pulling. You know, a system like this is perfect for off-grid living, or if you live in a camper, RV, or something like that on some property. This would even be a good option for a deer camp. But even if you don't have a house that is off the grid, this could be great for just a backup system. You never know when the electricity is gonna go out. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. So. The batteries are still showing 100% full. They're fully charged. So that means that the solar panels are probably running the whole house. Yeah, 1400 watts. 14 to 1600 watts is what the house is pulling. So yeah, this is kind of how you want a system like this to work. You want to be able to have enough solar panels to charge your batteries. And you want to have a large enough battery bank to store the power. In this case, with these EcoWorthy batteries, we have enough. And of course, the EG4 inverter is enough to power this whole house. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I think budget server rack batteries are the way to go when you're building a 48 volt solar system. Okay, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.